last year slashed 276. And he's slashing at that one, misses. Who had an outstanding year for the Terriers. Will be behind the plate as this is lifted high in the air, but will stay in the infield and right in the grass as Merrick Houston comes, gets under it, and makes. Did he go? And yes, he did. Here. And he chased it that one for strike three, but to make it officially a half to throw. Oh, but battling again with four strikeouts. There goes Seaver King, and he will be safe. It wasn't a bad throw from Janik. He waved at that one and missed it, and that's going to be another strikeout they made back in 2009. As a ball gets underneath the wickets of Jaddick, and that moves Seaver King over to third. And I noticed that too is Seaver King kind of got runners at the corners. Swing and a miss from Katz, and he's going to be retired. Made in high school was Connor Milton, who also plays for the Illini. Of course, the question mark was pitching, but. A big swing and a miss, which now makes strikes. Chase Burns kicks and delivers, and this is going to be hit on the ground, picked up by Tellier, and he's going to get. And there's another K for number two. And there's another. And facing Tellier for the second time. He hits this one high in the air, but that's going to stay in the park. It's caught by the center fielder, Asher Brad, for the out. Merrick Houston, second time against Tabling, takes the first pitch. It's going to be flared out to right. Could be trouble, but is caught by Mormon. With two outs, one strike. He will pull this on the ground into right field for a base hit. And Kurtz, rounding first, thought about going to second, but he will come back instead. Bill Salento, and he said something, but it worked. As Seaver King sends this high in the air, and at the right in front of the track, the catch is made by Brad. And Asia sends this one high in the air, but it's going to be. Gets a piece of it. It's a grounder over to shortstop, and easy does it for 0 2 pitch. Burns froze him. And Burns with another back. Another swing and a miss. And a the second walk awarded to on his first start. And Tabling has been spectacular. And he gets a walk. So he draws the second walk as it. Three balls, two strikes to Hawk. Hawk sends this one to the right. Going back at the wall, and it's a grand slam. Austin Hawk over the right field wall breaks this game open, and the Deacons lead 4-0. Austin Hawk, welcome back home. And Merrick Houston lifts this one, but it's going to drift over into right center field and caught by the right fielder, Mormon Burns has supplied this afternoon, and we need it. It's a chilly one here in Winston-Salem as this has popped up into very shallow. Here's the payoff pitch. Oh, Janik was on his way to first. The payoff pitch. Oh, they thought they framed it. Picture, rather than some of the negative stuff in social media. There's a dribbler that just squibs by Kurtz into right field. What a interesting spin. It gets into many strikeouts for Chase Burns. This is a tapper that's going to be played easily by Merrick Houston. He'll, oh, Kurtz. And Kurtz drives this one. Deep and gone. The first home run for Nick Kurtz. Over the right field wall and gone. A solo shot. And Nicky Dukes. And Seaver King puts the good charge in this one, but it's going to just get to the track.
The 0 2 gets a hold of this one. It could get down, but moving over to the left. Pulls this one into left field, and there's a base hit for Tate Bellistero. Who gets his first hit. Two balls and two strikes, two out, one on. And a swing and a miss. Strike three, swinging on Katz will end the side. Back on the bump again. And a comebacker that will get into center field for a base hit did in his opener. And spraying it, it will get down to the right field for a base hit. And Illinois now has two on just like that. It's nobody out, two on. Here's the pitch from Burns. And a big swing and a cut by Chialoy. The 0-1, it's another comebacker, scooped up by Hawk, over to Houston, Houston over to Kurtz. A double play. One run off of Rhett Lauder. For the Tar Heels against UNCW. And he sends another shot deep into right, going back at the track and caught by a baseball bat. Merrick Houston. Staring back at Reed, sends this one high in the air in the right field, but that's going to get to the track and caught by Mormon. Outfielder, prospect. And the count at now. There's one for two today. Here's the pitch from Nelson. Still trying to get that inside corner, missed it, and it's looking for his third strikeout. There it is, a swing and a miss. His Katz gets under this one, sends it high in the air, foul, and it is caught by the catcher, Janik, for the out. Bryn Gill here with two strikes on him, and there's another strikeout, a swing and a miss. Jammed him as he gets under this one, and the first baseman gets right under it. Westcott to make the catch is Falco, a transfer from Maryland. Will be the new pitcher in the first pitch. Chi Aloy was waiting for, and he attacks it. Go followed him. Big swing and a miss, and Falco gets his first strike. As he had that roll for Maryland, and this sent high in the air into left center. It drops, and picking up, quickly getting it to Merrick Houston, the cutoff man. Falco will face Janik. The catcher, this one will skyrocket off the turf and up in the air this afternoon. And puts one on the ground that finds some green in to center field for an RBI single. And it gets through underneath Gill. That will push the runner over to second. And a walk issued to Westcott. D-Town sure did, and the nation felt him as that one is sent high in the air. A Mormon is drifting over to the left. Catch is made by Seaver, tagging up, and the runner will move over to the plate. Here's the pitch from Falco. A wave and a miss. And that's how it finishes up here in game two for Wake Forest. As they now move to 2-0, Falco.